Hey everybody, um, thought I would do a update on my reef today. I am um, delving into the world of SPS coral. I'll show you that in a minute. However, look at my poor Monty. My red chorus wrasse, as you can see right there, had injured it, knocked, you know, he started picking at it, and then he knocked it off the thing. So, anyway, I'll probably end up having to frag it, I'm sure. So, I'm kind of bummed about that because I really did like my Christmas tree Monty there. But anyway, um, let's get started. I had initially added some, about a week ago, I added some life rock. Um, for my local fish store and so first off here's one piece and then go over here and I really like this piece it was in it the, that bottom part there it's like a, a shape of a pillar so the bottom part you know the base there and then the um, middle part came already attached in one piece and then I just bought the top and um, cemented that on before I put it in the tank so it's kind of hard to see behind the rock I did have to move um, the anemone rock forward to make it fit but anyway so I'm delving in the world of SPS coral so I definitely have a mixed reef so um, that piece is a worldwide coral yellow tip Monty it doesn't have the yellow tips on it just yet because it's fairly, only about two weeks old and that piece, you know, you've seen that in my take before, that staghorn, and I've been growing that for, oh, about six months now. So that was my test one, test little, little test piece. Um, and back there is a uh, PC Rainbow Acro. And there is my, and it's kind of, the color doesn't, I mean, this camera, you know, doesn't do it justice with the color. Let's see if I can get a better picture over here. It's kind of hard to get a good color, but it's a nice blue uh, tenuous. It's a blue acro tenuous. And so those are two pieces from the same colony right there. So I am delving in the world of SPS, and we'll see how that goes. Um, but everything seems to be doing good. I, you know, since I started SPS, I, I've been paying more attention, you know, closer attention to my alkalinity and everything. So I've been dosing, uh, two part manually. I'm not a big fan of dosing pumps as of yet. Anyway, um, I'll probably have to do that down the road. But anyway, I've been doing two part, you know, I've been trying to keep my alkalinity around eight and a half. Calcium stays steady, about 440 parts per million. Um, you know, with all these fish in this tank, I have 18 fish, and so it's hard to, um, you know, keep my phosphates as low as I want them. So I've been using uh, Phosphate RX, which I love, the product. Um, I do about half, a, half the recommended dose, and it knocks the phosphates down uh, pretty good because my phosphates sometimes hover around... Uh, 0 0.50 something like that and so I'd like them to be close to 0 0.03 so um, it, it's hard with this many fish to keep the phosphates down that's you know that's one one hard part about trying to do a mixed reef with SPS and LPS LPS is okay but the SPS you know they can't deal with the phosphate so you'll end up with browned out coral so don't want that to happen so Everything else seems to be doing good. This is my uh, Hollywood Stunner Chalice, and that appears to be growing back together. That was initially a broken piece there. Um, so, and there's my uh, Aussie Torch, and that's what it looks like with the white white lights on. Um, and there's an also, uh, back here, is an Aussie Pink Tip Torch. It's not the Gold Torch. That's the Gold Torch right there. So... And then these are just these are just frags, random frags. You know, frog spawn, hammer frag. You know, this is a torch uh, frag. Um, those as well. So those are just kind of random. But I'll be adding more corals over here with that rock. You know, and that one when I frag it, I'll have room on that rock to add more coral when I frag that Monty. So um, 
but that's one of the reasons my phosphates kind of crept up on me and I wasn't paying attention over the holidays and that's one of the reasons it got brown but I'm kind of bummed about that dead spot in the middle so yeah I'm gonna have to probably frag that or whatever I might, might sell it sell some frags of it and not keep it I don't know but there's my Superman my reverse Superman Monty and that's growing like crazy so that seems to be doing really well and my little flower pot frag so and there's a purple aviopore I've had that a few years and then everybody knows this is my prized Ghani right here which I grew as little baby frags I've had about four years so they were tiny when I got it they were probably they were a little bigger each frag was probably a little bigger than that when I got it about four years ago but now they've grown onto that rock I glued both frags to get you know next to each other on this rock and now the skeleton has gotten so big for each of them they've grown onto the rock so that's where this one's gonna have to stay so I just moved it over there and I did trade in um, I know you know in other videos you can see my um, uh, toadstool leather coral so I traded that in because you know truthfully um, you know I didn't you know I, I just you know it was, it was large it was getting big and it was taking up a lot of room in that area and so I went ahead and traded that in. I got a good price for it, so I was able to buy one of these. I wish you got, I wish I had a better camera. I'm gonna have to take a better video with a better camera. So you can, I mean, you can see the blue pop on that coral. Um, so anyway, that is about it for my reef update. Um, so and I'm, you know, waiting my on my uh, emperor angel will be. At some point, change these feel like seaweed, as you can tell. So do my wrasses, but um, other than that, and I did lose my little baby um, leopard wrasse milligris, unfortunately. Um, he had was in the sand, and unfortunately, when we put that in, he did not. It and it landed on him and it was unfortunate and so he died so I was kind of bummed about that all week but with so many rashes I can't risk adding another one so all right and thanks everybody for watching and I hope everybody has a happy Valentine's Day and happy reefing <laughs>